My name is London Matthews. The kids call me Coach Matthews. I uh, work here at Magnolia Junior High. Um, I teach web design and coding. Uh, and I teach those classes together. Uh, it's kind of a great classroom environment because the web design kids and the coding kids can work together, uh, whereas web design is kind of the skeleton of the internet and the coding is kind of the brains of the whole internet. And those two kids work really well together in a classroom setting. MJH Mustang Money uh, website came about. Uh, myself and Ms. Cantania, who is our, our Dean of Instruction on campus, were talking at a basketball game about the issues they had last year uh, implementing the Mustang Money student rewards system. And I talked to her about how I thought it wouldn't be that hard <laughs> to make a website that the kids would make. Uh, little did I know what I was signing those kids up for when I signed them up for that small project. Uh, but they did a great job at it. Um, they've kind of excelled and, and done better than I thought they would do. Well, I'm Zachary Fisher. I go to school at Magnolia Junior High. And I made a website basically, or me and Jacob made a website where a teacher can go in log into it and add money to this certain student by just searching in his ID, name, first or last. And then on the student side, you can easily go in, put the ID number and see which and see how much money that the te teacher is giving you, how much money you have total. And then there's another feature with the admin page where you can see every student can adjust its funds to any amount, but it's only used for admins. Uh, funds for like an end of year celebration so it's like, we'll have like bouncy houses, like I think there was a wrestling thing last year. So like, and the more money that, and it costs money to get on these things. So when the more money that you get, the more activities you can do. And also I'm pretty sure you can pay food with it. My name is Jacob Pendergraf. I go to Magnolia Junior High. And this is a project we've been working on in coding for about four weeks. So as you can see here, we can log into student. And we can enter a student ID. And if you click Find Balance, you can see all the information on the student, such as their ID, their name, and how much money they have. If you click Add Funds, it will add one to their amount, and you can see which ID you added it to. Now on the admin side, you can log in again, except the login values are different than the teacher, so only admins can log in. And you'll get a similar page to the teacher side, except this time you can select how many funds you want to give to an account. So if I want to set this to just one again, I can type in one and then click change. And it'll give you an alert that says uh, student ID, funds changed to, and then it'll show how many funds you've changed it to. You can also add a new student or a teacher, and you can also change your login just like you do on the uh, teacher side. And this is the student uh, ad page. You can just uh, input their info, and then when you click Create Student, that'll be added to the list of admin uh, student options. Now this page took a while because we were able to get the search function to work. It was all up and running, and we could search for students by ID, name. But when we tried to add funds, that was, uh, we weren't able to accomplish that. So we had a lot of challenges trying to do that since we have a bunch of buttons here and we had to select which one we're adding money to. So I would say that was the most difficult part of the project. Uh, my favorite part of the project is just getting to see what we've worked on so hard work. Uh, it's, it's really gratifying to know that you've been working so hard on something and now it works functionally.